Mother Moth. There appears to be a woman who bears a certain type of larvae. The woman seems to be nourishing these larvae with herself, from her head, heart, and her body. She has given the children everything of herself, just like how mothers do. The eggs attached across her skin, while the newly hatched larvae wiggle themselves out of her skin. It is unknown whether the skin provides nourishment to those larvae, or did those larvae make themselves deeper beneath the skin, where they feed off the blood and the flesh. The mother doesn't seem to mind. In fact, she appeared quite pleased that her younglings are nourishing. Nothing else seemed to matter to her any longer. The only thing she cares about are her children. It doesn't matter what she sacrifices, as long as those larvae are safe and well. She was once the mother of two human children, but now she has no reaction towards them. Has she forgotten them, or is she manipulated by those parasitic moths? Can she still be considered human? Could there be any more rational thoughts that process through her mind? Nobody knows what led to her state, but beware of the mother moth. Hello, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little creation of mine, inspired by the species Cortesia congregata, a parasitic wasp species that uses a certain mechanism to alter the host's behavior. The reference to the information about this wasp will be in the description below. In short, this species of parasitic wasp enhances their own reproductive success by altering the host's behavior, and also exert control over the host's endocrine and immune system. The eggs of these wasps are injected into the body of a caterpillar, where the wasp larvae develop within the caterpillar's blood space. The larvae consumes nutrients from the inside, but do not damage the major organs and tissues. Once they reach the end of their larval development period, they break through the host's skin and pupate on the outside of the host. They later emerge as fully mature adults, where the cycles begin once more. How I found out about this particular wasp species is through keeping ladybugs back in 2016. Back then. I noticed that a ladybug was always laying on top of a fluffy-looking ball. Initially, I thought the ladybug was feeding on it. However, it laid there still for more than three days. I took the ladybug off the fluff, and it had issues with its movement. It refuses to feed and walks in an unnatural fashion. I wanted to know what is causing such peculiar behavior, and found out that the ladybug has been infested. With a form of parasitic wasp, I removed the fluff and contained it in a glass jar, where a small black wasp was hatched. Though these form of parasitic body invaders uses other species of insect to support their offspring by manipulating their behavior in biochemistry, I wonder what if the infested host was a human instead. Which is what led to this piece's creation. Us humans shouldn't see ourselves as above nature. Instead, the truth is that we are part of it. I'm Cindy of the Art, and I hope you enjoyed this little creation of mine. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and please like and subscribe if you're curious to see more.